guys welcome to my channel my name is Alina Fe and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I organize my life using Notion and Google Calendar so I'm big on organizing having to-do lists and all that I've been using Google Calendar my whole life but I just recently started using Notion and it's actually helped me quite a lot so let's get into that okay so this is initially my Google Calendar it looks really really busy so it has my daily tasks my classes like here at uh, IBM Dad and this certificate that I'm doing so every every day at 10 a.m. I do that then we have Wednesdays and Thursdays that's when I have class here on a Friday on Thursdays I have a Bible study and then on Fridays as well uh, planned other Bible studies so somehow I tried to make the color coordinated as much as I could so let's go to like this week here here and then we have tasks that are in red that are like assignment deadline Google Calendar isn't that interesting to be honest with you guys it's just basic stuff that uh, gives me reminders every day on my phone that I actually need if I have to meet someone I will put it in there because sometimes I tend to forget if I make like plans months ahead or months before anyways so this is my notion here with notion I kind of took a template from this creator uh, she has a really good template which I use most of it I change it around just to personalize it to how I wanted it to be this is my dashboard this is the main page that I go to I really like it it's colored in pink because I like pink but yeah so it has my daily stuff here which is consists of my agenda habit tracker notes and then this over here is just like the timer of the year but it measures the year the months and the week so this is the first of October which is like 75 percent of the year 3% um, of the month and 66% of the weeks of the year I think here I have the weather and then down here I have some quotes that I put just like little reminders and everything that I can read we have our personal log here and then we have our life for, for example agenda this is just I'm gonna blur out some of the personal stuff that I have on here but this but this is just my everyday to do list from Monday until Sunday. We have a calendar here and then every task that I need to do. And then once I'm done, actually, I can just put them in my archive and then just go back to it. After the agenda now, we have my habit tracker. Of course, it's in the name just to keep track of all the habits, all the habits that I want to start. So we have waking up at 8.30, reading the Bible, reading a devotional, watching a sermon, exercising. This is just reading a book, drinking water, hair care, and self-care. So this is the month of September. I still need to update it, but this is the first. So I want to show you guys how I've been using this. So yeah, so from the first until the... 31st and then this is just my log here. I've been doing pretty well so far except on I've been slacking on exercise as you can see Reading a book as well. I'm trying to make this a habit So this is a new this is a new column that I've put in as well as drinking water I need to drink more water hair care meaning how many times I wash my hair so looks like every week here and then self-care meaning using a mask or anything or something like that so I haven't done that at all this month so that needs to change and then we go down here to my personal this is YouTube just to keep track of the YouTube videos that I want to film which is one of them here that I'm filming I'm trying to get back into it and then we have our shopping list these are some of the things that I would want just like a wish list it's not necessarily I'm gonna buy them anytime soon just to keep them there then we have our recipe log here I just I like to try at least a new recipe almost every week it's not a lot there okay and then we have entertainment because I love watching movies so we have movie list here I'm gonna put in a series list as well I love watching movies so I have movies that I want to watch and some of the ones I've watched I don't always put in everything here but these are just when I'm using my laptop and I'm on notion I'm like oh I really want to watch that movie I just put it in there so I just I don't forget so and then we have our life log here where we have my Bible log which consists of prayer list, dream log, monthly reflections and sermon notes. Then we have vision boards here. I have put in my five year vision board and then 2021 goals and then I'm not gonna show you guys too much. Bucket list. This is some of the stuff I just got from Pinterest. 
and put them on there but I, again this is also uh, I've taken it from the temp I've taken it from the template that I found from this creator her video will be linked down below for you guys okay so I forgot to show you guys my budget here so this is my budget tracker it just has my expenses on the left here there's rent electricity wi-fi water gym membership groceries transport and enjoyment which is just like if i want to go out to eat if i want to order food or meet up with friends and then we have income here which is like how much money i get per month and then side hustle if i have a side hustle at the time how much money i'm getting from that and then over here we have this picture i found um on someone's youtube video they were talking about how to save money so we have 50 percent of must-haves nice to haves which is 30 percent and then save has to be 20% of your income here we have the overall which is for the income minus the expenses and to see how much money we have left to save or how much oh how much we've gone over the budget and stuff like that so this is very simple again you can put them in the archives once you're done so this is my first part and then secondly we have my learning hub so this is where I put everything to do with academics so we have our, my agenda there it's the same as the last one just with stuff to do with school um and then we have books this is my books that i want to read that are not necessarily there's only like three books there so i'm not much of a reader but i really want to get better at that and then down here we have my university assignments so all the things that have been due, the things that are coming soon, and then the ones on the bottom here are just from last semester. And then we have my work hub here. So I don't really have like stuff to do with like actual work, but in terms of, it's almost like a career hub. So there's like job applications that I need to do, habit tracker, same as my dashboard. This is in relation to career stuff. And then I have here, it says Grace and Hustle, really like that. Weekly to-do list, I have 15 jobs I need to apply to. Obviously, sometimes I don't actually meet this number, but you know, it's a goal. Some of the questions I've completed and then career-related exams that I need to do. Basically, my notion, and this is how I organize my life. So, um, I'm gonna reset my habit tracker, my agenda, just to start this new month yeah so notion has really changed my life i have it on all my devices i use it all the time hope you guys are inspired i'll put the link to the template that i used to edit down below it could be really overwhelming at first because when i first started using notion i didn't know what to do but with the help of watching youtube videos like this one and other youtube videos i learned how to create my own notion and personalize it to the way I wanted it to be. So thank you guys for watching my channel. Hope you guys like this type of productivity videos that I've been giving you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.